In this video, I'm going to go over two story problem trig applications. And what makes these different from the videos I've done before is I'm not giving you a triangle at the beginning of the problem. It's up to you to draw the triangle based on information in this uh, little paragraph here. So there's going to be a little bit of reading involved. And this problem that I'm starting off with here is find the missing side. Okay, I'm looking for, what do we have here? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Okay, I'm looking for the length of ladders required to uh, scale a castle wall. So I'm going to need to give it some information about an angle, uh, maybe the height of the castle wall, and that'll tell me the length of ladders using some trigonometry. Now that's the first problem. In the second one, we're going to find the missing angle. Okay, in this one, as you can look at the problem while I'm writing this, it's talking about finding the elevation of the sun, the angle of elevation. So this is find the missing angle. And the techniques that we're going to use here are similar uh, with, with a little bit of a twist in each one. Okay, so back to number one. Thor gear, the muscle of Orsted, blah, 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 Viking army. There's a wall, okay? I've got a wall that's 45 feet high. So that's what I'm getting from this story. I've got a right triangle. And okay, so this is my castle wall. 45 feet high, and la la la. Okay, so here's your ladder. I want to know how long that ladder is. And the angle that it forms with the ground, according to this problem, is 74.8 degrees. Okay, we want to know how long is that ladder if I know the height of the wall and the angle. No problem. Take a look at your angle. Let me switch colors here so it's a little easier to see. Take a look at your angle. And classify these two other important numbers as opposite adjacent or hypotenuse. Well, the latter is obviously the hypotenuse. Okay, it's the diagonal of the triangle, the long side of the triangle. But this 45 degrees right here, you should recognize that as the opposite side. Okay, it's the one farthest away from the angle. So what trig function talks about opposite and hypotenuse? I hope you're thinking sine. So sine of theta equals opposite over hypotenuse, and we plug in the values we know. This becomes sine of 74.8, remember I'm in degrees here, equals 45 divided by, well, something, let's call this h, the hypotenuse. So now I just rearrange my equation a little bit. I'm going to bring it down here. h equals 45 divided by the sine of 74.8. If I lost you in that step, what I'm doing is I'm multiplying each side by h, and I'm dividing each side by sine of 74.8. When you divide by a trig function, you have to take the sine and the angle together. You're dividing by the whole thing. All right? So now we just plug it into a calculator because I have no idea what that trig function is. So 45 divided by the sine of 74.8. And I get this. I get h equals 46.6313. Two, seven, you know, blah, 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 blah. Okay, that's how many feet long the letter has to be. Now, what does the problem say? It wants it in um, one decimal place. No problem. You could put in this whole long decimal if you want. It's very accurate. Or you could round it. But if you're going to round it, don't round it more than what I just did right here. 46.6. Okay, that should do it. Next one. We've got a really tall tower. And I'm going to figure out how tall the... No, I know how tall the tower is. I'm going to use the information about how tall the tower is and how long the shadow it casts is to figure out the angle of the sun. Well, if this doesn't make sense to you at first, think about it and draw yourself a picture. So I've got a really tall tower here and it casts a shadow like this. Okay, there's my shadow. And the length of the shadow is, looks like 525 meters. This is a right triangle. And the height of the tower is 553 meters. You can see I'm not drawing this to scale. I don't care, right? As long as I'm putting the height vertically and the shadow horizontally, I should be good. What I'm curious about is the angle of elevation. The angle of elevation means if you got some dude here and this guy is looking up into the sky, how high is he looking to see the sun up here? Okay, so that's what angle of elevation means. Um, as long as I'm on this point, I want to mention something else. Sometimes you will have a problem that talks about angle of um, depression. Okay, angle of depression 
is simply this right here. So we would have depression as an angle, and this over here is the angle of, sometimes it's called angle of inclination, sometimes it's called angle of elevation. They mean the same thing. And what you can see is whether you're talking about angle of inclination, elevation, or depression, they're all equal to each other because these are opposite angles, okay? But that's, that's how you would um, imagine them on a diagram. So back to our problem. What you do is you label your sides. Okay, I'm gonna do this again where I label them as opposite. And this one down here is adjacent. So which trig function relates opposite and adjacent together? Well, I hope you're thinking about tangent. Tangent theta equals opposite over adjacent, right? So Katoa. So now we just plug in the values we know. I don't know tangent. I wanna figure that out. I wanna know what the tangent of theta is. Um, but I do know the opposite is 553 and the adjacent is 525. And I said I wanted to know tangent theta, but really what I wanna know is theta, the angle itself. I don't care so much what tangent theta is. So to solve that, I'm going to do theta equals the inverse tangent. Remember, inverse tangents are the way you undo tangent. Okay, you can think of moving tangent to the other side, whatever helps you remember that. It's the inverse tangent of 525. In other words, what angle, if I took the tangent of it, would give me that 553 over 525 fraction? So I'm gonna plug this into my calculator. I do inverse tangent. Inside the parentheses, I'm just saying 553 divided by 525 close the parentheses, and I get, I get this. Theta equals 46.4, I'm gonna round this to, uh, well, you know what, it's 49 or something, I'm gonna round it to 46.5 degrees, okay? You don't need to put the degree symbol in there. That's how you go through it, and it should make sense. If you do a sanity check here, and you think, well, 46 degrees, that's almost a perfect diagonal of 45 degrees, and you can see these sides are almost equal to each other. So that makes sense. Uh, and that's the process I'd like you to go through. Draw yourself a picture, um, find the appropriate trig function based on what sides are given to you and what side is wanted if you're looking for a side. Uh, and then punch it into the calculator and do a quick sanity check. If you've got something like 89 degrees here, well, that wouldn't make a whole lot of sense based on our picture, right?